Always so scary to see yes, that, Michelle. Always scary because you know how quickly that water just gets the force yeah. going, right? And carries away trucks too. So yes. just a reminder there. We had some flash flood rescues yesterday, nothing to that extent, but we're grateful now to be having a slightly drier evening after a stormy day for folks out in the mountains. You can see Boone here, good storm going. They missed out on some of those showers yesterday. So today they were able to get some good thunderstorms going and some showers too on the ground. Blues Lake, gorgeous view here. And then those storm clouds rolled nearby may have kept some folks off the lake as the thunderstorms were trying to close in, but we had beautiful sunsets too. Just a gorgeous evening out there, a little bit drier. I don't know if you noticed a slight drop in the humidity. It's not going to last long, but we'll take it for now. We've got severe storm risks and heavy rain tonight starting to wind down. That is still pushing to the south and east of us along that front, so we'll watch for that. Fireworks forecast does include some stray storms, but I think most people are going to be dry. And then midweek, we're talking about the heat. Take a look at the next two days from Boone to Burlington. We've got shower and storm chances each day, and today we had temperatures near 90 degrees. We did reach 90 degrees for the third day in a row in Greensboro. Temperatures out there right now in the upper 70s, 80 degrees in Burlington right now, and it's after 11 o'clock at night. So we're holding on to some of that heat. We still have some clouds out there, even though we've seen partial clearing. We'll see those lift back in. You see that front sitting to our south. It's become stationary tonight, and it'll lift back along that front. We'll have some areas of low pressure, and that could trigger a storm or two, especially by late afternoon tomorrow. Now we have had temperatures that were in the upper 80s to low 90s today and so now your highs at 96 degrees in Burlington. That was one of our hotter spots. Tomorrow we take you to 87 degrees. We expect more clouds to mix in. That front is nearby and we have a warm front that may lift in a little later to bring in a few storms, but it doesn't look terribly juicy with thunderstorm activity all day. 87 degrees and by your fireworks time frame, we may be able to see some of the showers and storms start to drop down. Temperatures in the mountains, we start out at 59 degrees, a little bit of patchy fog, maybe dense in spots and 78 degrees and that thunder out there of course too for you as we head into the afternoon. Also more humid weather starts to build for all of us by late afternoon evening. You might notice that if you're sitting in the stands watching some of those fireworks out in Winston Salem at the dash game. Rainfall totals today kind of light out there to the east and a lot of folks have remained as have nots. Greensboro, Burlington, Ashbury, Yanceyville, you have missed out on the good rains the last couple of days. Even parts of Rockingham County not doing so well. So we're hopeful that we'll get some more 74 right now there and we see temperatures in the upper 70s starting to cool into the 60s overnight. It's going to take a little while though. You've got those shower chances here from the last couple of days that helped to fill in and central for Scythe County. That's where we had the flash flood concerns, some five to six inches in spots there and quarter inch totals all around where you didn't see those showers really last or make it through. And unfortunately, that means we have light rainfall, but light rainfall totals will add up as we go into the next several days. Each afternoon, some scattered showers and storms starting to really build Wednesday into Thursday and Friday end of the week. We may end up through next Sunday with one to one and a half inches. I'm not sure about those two inch totals. We'll have to wait and see if we can bring in some more of that Gulf moisture and Atlantic moisture for you. Too. Shower and storm chances as we head into your Monday, your July 4th holiday. Spotty, not looking great for rainfall everywhere, but a storm or two could put a damper on one or two of those fireworks that may be going off into the evening hours. By early Tuesday morning, more of the same, kind of soupy out there. We've got temperatures that return back to the 90s and you feel more uncomfortable. Here's your seven day forecast. We've got stray storms on your Monday. Rain chance of 20% with 87 degrees, 95 for your forecast high on Wednesday. You may, may feel like those lower 100s though as the high humidity continues. We'll have to see about heat advisories. We've also got upper 80s to low 80s eventually by next Sunday should be a bit milder.